All right, welcome back to another exciting episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sort. Yes, it is. And we are going to look at some uh, modded windows that I finished in a Japanese dojo. Let's go. All right, so there you have it. Look at those. I got the look that I finally wanted. So I wanted to keep the bars because on the actual castle, the windows do have bars in them, but then they have these sliding panels that work. And we got these little slide rails here. And I spent about, oh, <laughs> four or five hours uh, trying to relearn um, Blender and uh, I forgot all the shortcuts and everything, but this is how they work They all slide and close and they look really cool from the outside If I would have closed one. Oh, there's one So it, it gives a look that I was trying to achieve so Now the difference those are um, Here is uh, my or Eh. Take two. This is the Dream Builder one. Oop. Screen that comes with home. It, it comes in the home decor mod, and it's a Japanese style screen, and it's in the middle of the block. So can't have that if it's up against the window. So what I did, and here is mine. It sits at the edge. And opens. Now I still have I still have to fix the um, the collision box because it doesn't. Oh, oh, that wasn't good. I almost. Oh, come on. <laughs> what the? There we go. I almost um didn't didn't make it there. So this one is mine. It sits on the edge where the home decor one sits in the middle and it works just like, just like the home decor. Hmm. It works just like the home decor one. And, um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun to do. So what these are is these are the, uh, tapestry rods. And then obviously my screens. So if I came over here and some of the places I can't, put the uh the rods on so over here if i take if i take one of the uh, tapestry top and a tapestry bottom and then on the bottom one i have to finagle with the screwdriver until it goes into there we go the correct position then i can take my my door and put it here it's in the open position and Obviously, I'll carry the slider over, which gives it that framework that I was looking for. So when you click on it, it closes the window. And this is the problem. I have to click over here to open the window. So I have to play around with the, uh, with, with the mod specs on that. So that's how that works. And what I ended up doing was taking opening up i had to relearn blender a little bit because i had some problems remembering all the shortcut keys so in the original one all i did is i took uh vanessa e's home decor uh the object for the closed and open door as you could see there and import it into import the object in the blender and all i did was it was in the center of the box i moved it to the outside and that was that and then um i had to reset up the materials for the uvs for the uh rice paper innards and the frame the wood frame so that turned out that turned out perfect Yes, quit. Wow. And then all I had to do is basically 
this is the great thing about all these mods is that you can go in them and this is Vanessa E's Lua for um, the doors and gates. So what I was able to do was read how she did it and then copy, but literally copy that and just change areas that I needed to change. Like um, the, uh, the register, what, what I wanted to call the door and the description and then what materials I wanted to use for the door. Now, my panels, I wanted to mimic the original panels. So in this case, I use the, um, the same, how she did the Lux wood, which is the generic wood um, texture colored, and then the Japanese rice paper. And then I also created one that is clear which that turned out really cool too. So I also have a clear version, which some of these windows in the castle have, they just have windows on it. And some of the houses that I've been seeing, so that's how that looks. So I could literally have windows with the bars in the middle, and that will also serve the purpose that I want. And I move these also so they sit on the outside of the block. Now they these don't, these don't um, open yet. So the glass on the inside is just the default glass. And the outside mimics the same textures perfectly. So there you have it. So let us go take a look at the dojo real quick. So this gives a lot more definition. And just to prove that, we come down here. Here's a Google search, image search, of Japanese homes. And you can see the panels. And to this day, they still use these panels um, on all the houses that I researched. So everything slides. And it is really, it is really quite beautiful on how that, how that works. Especially in, we're in the backyard area where they have it all open. And that's where those clear panels come in. But the other panels are just, you can see here, there's more panels. And they just slide to close off the rooms. The other thing that I found out um, by researching is that a lot of the houses will have the, these rooms partitioned off in the center where all the panels and everything and the hallways will be on the outside, which is really, it's kind of, um, well, I used to use that wallpaper. It's kind of, I don't want to say it, it, a great use of space, but it makes sense. And then you could just open up the room like here, here's the hallway. So here's the outdoors. And then here's the panel separating these rooms over here. So if the person just wants to go outside, they open that up and they go out. And yeah, that's how that works. And it's really quite, quite an eloquent design in a lot of cases. Now, another, another design um, style that I like is in uh, like German buildings, the uh, modern uh, design. That's another area that I would like to to get into. There's a little indoor indoor water area. There's also going to be an indoor garden, which but I'm just trying to face that in. And what I also found out is on this castle, there actually is a basement, <laughs> so I can put a basement in. So we're going to come over here, and this is not going to be a long video. I'm going to run through my little uh, area here. And I found a way of replicating a bamboo forest. So basically, all I have to do is let's take, for example, these trees here. And I've seen a bunch of other people do this. And I, I have to use, I have to find some some better leaves and I have a lot of bamboo plants around my my house 
and it kind of simulates a bamboo forest. So I'm working on that because I want to, I want to finish this area up and move on to, there's a couple of modern houses and I really have an itch to revisit my, uh, my castle, my, um, medieval style castle again, because I did a lot of work in the, there, that looks, that looks really cool. I did a lot of work in the, uh, the, uh, dungeon area to make it look a, a little better because it was just this vast open area and I didn't, it, I used the arches and everything else. So it turned out really, really cool. I will be highlighting that. So what I did here is I closed off all these openings and closed them down to three. And I went back in and see how much better that looks with the forest soil underneath the um, the bush, the shrubbery. The shrubbery. Yes. So uh, over here, and there it is again. There is a beehive under my cherry tree. Unreal. So over here, I finished uh, doing some landscaping, putting in some garden stones leading up to this house and started doing some, I put a, I put a different floor in here and just started basically furnishing it. And that's how, they'll, that's how they will do the rooms. They will seal off the rooms with a hallway going across. And I really love that style. So let's take a look at the dojo, which unfortunately is not my design. Um, the dojo is the same person that designed the house back over here that I use for inspiration and reference. And one of the main reasons, the same thing I did with the castle when I was looking for inspiration, but the castle is, you know, that's my design. The hardest thing to replicate are these roofs. And once you get them down, and you get these um, little uh, corner edges, especially doing the castle, the amount of practice of getting that roof right was something else. And that's just, I wanted to learn that. So right now I just have, I have the, the fountain and the, the circle area pretty much done. I have to figure out what to put in here. So I just put some vegetation in there for now. And there's the dojo. That's where they will practice their, their martial arts. And over here, there's going to be a tea house because of, because of the unique um, landscaping. So this looks awesome. Now, I've changed a lot of the design of the original person, and I like it. That is a cool house. It has the panels in it. It's sitting up on the uh, hillside. I'm flying through. I cannot make it through a video without flying through trees. Yep. So let's take a look inside real quickly. You got a little uh, stone pathway to get in. And I use the, I use the doors here. But this is, this is pretty awesome. I just, I just love that style with the open air. The panels are gone in the back. And this is where they will, they will practice. Unfortunately, I can't put down any mats or anything like that because that floor is a, is a slab. And to use, you kind of have to use, you see, it, it sits above. So, yeah, it kind of... Uh, doesn't work but it works it works out so this would be a, a full height block where you can put stuff around the rim of it they got this little deck area going off the back looking over, overlooking the uh, beautiful landscaping and all these panels can be opened up perfect so I want to finish up this area and I want to move on to um, my modern 
you know, a couple more modern properties that I, I want to build and get back to my medieval castle. But that looks cool. So I'm really happy how that turned out. And I have some more landscaping and stuff. I want to put like a lantern out here. I was debating on whether or not to put um, more lanterns back here. And I could probably get away with that. Where's my castle stone? Let's see how that looks real quick. Stone pillar. And of course, I need my thuns, and I need that. So I don't know how well this will look here. I use stone wall. That's what I use. I like to keep it uniform, even though it really, it really doesn't doesn't matter. You could use whatever materials you want. That's the beauty of the game. I don't know if I want to go one or two. We will we will see how this looks. I think one is going to be. Yeah, I like the I like the one better. Hmm. So. That might be too much because they're so big and I don't have a, uh, I could move them back one. I don't know. I'm going to have to, I, I am going to have to play with that to see how, how I like that. But I love this, this design. Get out of here. What are you doing? Go. Oh, you, you want to stay? Fine. They look a little bit too close. I might have to move them back one, but I will, I will decide that. So back here, and I also thickened this up. So it looks really nice. And there's another one. And so back here... We have some steps that lead down into this area here, and this area is really nice. It's just, it's perfect. So what I want to do, I don't have enough. I was thinking about creating some kind of stream so I could put a small bridge in, and right over here is going to be a uh, tea house, because what they, they love to have a, a separate building or a separate room specifically just for having tea and i think that will finish off this area of course i got snow trees over here because this was a snow biome but this will finish off this area quite nicely so i think i have enough buildings here without overcrowding it i do like those lanterns over there just take a second take a little bit to get to get used to it but it's right off of the uh, the ocean here. I'm not gonna. I'm, if I do a wall, it's not gonna be for a long time, because that wall would have to go all the way around this area, all the way back here, and link up to the castle. So yeah, so I'm real happy with how how this area turned out, and I want to stop tweaking it because. As you know, in my videos, I just can't leave well enough alone. And I will tweak the death out of it. I also have to figure out... See, that looks that looks really cool. A bamboo forest. I, I think I have to build it a little higher. I also have to figure out, uh, over here, a path that's going to lead back. And what I'm going to do about the, the gate. So, I'm thinking about having... A gate along the pathway, which then will lead into this area here, and that should take care of that should take care of that. All right, so 
we have looked at. I have to clean this up over here. This is just really. It's a, it's a little bit too much. We got mushrooms. I think the one, you can eat the brown ones, but these are poisonous. I think. Not sure. And we have an egg. No chicken. So again, I'm really, really happy on how this turned out. And you can see that these panels behind here really give it a nice look. And they're functional. So I am very happy with, with how that turned out. And I can, I can close and open panels with still having the, uh, the bars in the windows. And then I have these panels over here, which I can use in other builds because not only do these doors, these doors look good. They, they almost look like, um, they could be French doors, but they don't open right now. So I have to work on that. And uh, other than that, there's not too much left that I'm going to do over here. Uh, with the castle, this, this door here, this is three high, this I'm going to leave alone. And I'm also going to do the same thing with these, with these upper walls. So you have an upper wall, a lower wall, and then there's also a middle wall. And those also sit in the middle and they are very useful, but I can find some more uses for them. So that's how that would look. Or you could just use an upper and a lower and create like a border. So that, that does give a, a very cool look to it. So I'm thinking about using, utilizing those and go from there. So real quick video, that's going to do it on here. I didn't do it over here. Hmm. The, the only thing I'm not looking forward to is I have to go, I think there's, I think there's a hundred windows in this build. So I have to go, I have to go around to all the windows and put in the railings and that, and they look really cool closed. Uh oh, why did I do that? They, they look, they have a really, um, oh. That's not how that's supposed to be. That's because I, I put, so there's that and there's that one. So there you have it. So I achieved the look I was looking at and it only took like four or four and a half hours. And, um, yeah, had to reuse uh, blender again. I really like using it, but blender is one of those programs that if you don't use it often, you will lose, you know, everything that you gain from it. So, and over here, I cannot do any, I cannot put those uh, railings there because of the gate, the, 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 the fence here and the trap door. I can put them here, so that would look okay. But it looks fine. All right, so that's going to do it. Um, hopefully, I will have more builds now that I'm finishing this area. The only, the only problem is that there's so much detail that has to go into this that it makes it kind of, you know, you go, wow, that's all you did. And actually that, that took a long time. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not the, I'm not the fastest builder, but I am going to um, get some, get away from this area over here and move on to the other castle and some modern builds. And uh, we should be very happy. All right, so that's gonna do it. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, leave comments and questions uh, below if you'd like. And uh, hopefully this was uh, enough inspiration. And it's really cool that the, uh, the database video, um, because there is a mistake like a mystique over databases and programming and 
you just have to tear into it just like on this on this mod tearing into a pre-existing mod because why reinvent the wheel when it's already there and using the techniques used by another developer in there and this, because the every all the mods here are open source everything's open source on this so um you know you have to make sure you give credit and yeah everybody can use this information so thank you again everybody have a great day and um until next video goodbye